My childhood was filled with just constant trauma. And at the same time, I had to hide it and had to act like it was a normal childhood life. It became clear as I got older that my parents had planned on selling me the whole time. A lot of times in, in growing up in the foster care system, I just was put into positions where I was abused verbally, sexually, you know, all these different ways. And I was also being told that I was nothing but a paycheck. As a foster care child, when you are missing, you get in your file that you are run away. It's closed and put on the shelf. And that's it. I was attacked by these predators within a matter of hours from first I and mean, then out into the street. That's how fast it happens. We know this worldwide, that when children are abandoned, neglected, or abused, and they end up in this vulnerable place, that they can be and will be exploited by people. When you don't realize that you're being manipulated, and you don't realize that someone is, in essence, coercing you into the worst part of your life, and you think that they're trying to help you, I had been in about six music videos and a few magazines. And so girls were asking me, oh, I saw your new video. Hey, can you bring me? How do I get involved? Girl, that was so pretty. But if only people knew what was behind the scenes. We're criminalizing children for sexual abuse. Even though they cannot legally consent to sex, they are being put in the juvenile justice system, locked up and incarcerated. In juvenile hall, I had given up on life. I thought, I won't live. There's no way I'm going to make it. And I was only 13. I wasn't even 14 yet. And I couldn't see myself making it to 16, maybe not even 15. It just wasn't even a thought that I would. That's a problem. That was a problem back then, and it's a problem today. It's why I got involved in this fight. And so part of our role is to come out here and share hope and teaching them about the issue, because as long as they see it as just some girl that's out there selling herself, they're never going to feel empowered to protect children and women in their communities. As Californians, we must stare at the painful truths of our relationships, our neighborhoods, and our nation. Pervasive sexual assault, widening inequality, ineffective political systems, and the continued buying and selling of human beings for profit. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, and because it's so huge and pervasive, we need a huge and pervasive movement to stop it. Save our children! Save our children! This message that we can all do something needs to get out there. We have our unique abilities, talents that we can develop and then use. We can use those talents and we can develop them and we can change the world with them.